Hi, I'm Chart Gal Lori. I'm part of the Chart Guys community. I've been a trader and technical analyst for the last eight and a half years. Today, I'm going to bring you a market recap for Thursday, July 18th. Let's hop to it. All right, starting with the calendar. Let's make my face a little smaller. Starting with the market calendar, tomorrow we have some Fed speak. We have the rig count. Nothing really big going on tomorrow. Lots of red. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> it's burning my eyes. We had Meta Green, AVGO, and NVIDIA, and had a little bit of Energy Green. Overall, major red market today, and I'm calling it the scorched earth. That's when the military would just go in and destroy everything. Well, it's like the bears chose the scorched earth today. Uh, and just a, a side note, if you could give me a follow on X at Lori, that would be lovely. Let's get into the charts. Starting with Mara, so just wanted to call out to you that we had a trade this morning on live stream. I posted shorting Mara against high of a day, and this was a live stream trade. And then later that day at 8.51 Mountain Time, I exited my final scale of put 71 to $1.80. Let's go over why that why I took that trade. Looking at Bitcoin this morning, I actually posted in general chat, hey, Bitcoin looks like a two hour head and shoulders. So you had this head and shoulders developing here. And I knew that that's what I was looking for in Bitcoin. That was just telling me, Lori, be smart. And then uh, Mara was also forming a two, two hour head and shoulders. So I knew I was looking for that lower high to short and I just happened to switch to it when I was live stream and uh, we had a higher high right at open. And then we set that lower high and that's where I entered and I exited about right there at 851, right, right here. So that was a good down move and that was correlating Bitcoin with Mara. And when you can do that, you can really get some high conviction trades when the correlations match up. They, it's not always a direct one-to-one -one correlation. When it works, it's pretty beautiful. And we had a bear break on ES today. We lost daily support. However, if you look at the two week, We still, I think I saw it on two day, my bad. On the two day, we still have room for a higher low. I would, wouldn't say this is a bull flag anymore because of the high uh, bear volume, but this is still healthy and plenty of room for a higher low. How the bulls respond tomorrow will be key. Do they respond with fight or do they respond with another four hour bear flag? And that's what happened today. The four hour bear flag this morning just rolled over bearish. NASDAQ four-hour bear flag rolled over bearish in a in a bigger way in that we are down here at 19811 support we broke that 19758 we broke it by $60 we'll see if the bulls can recover and will they be able to set a two-week higher low RTY really tumbled over today and we've been relying on RTY since July 11th all through here we've been relying on on the Russell hey help lift us and then really went down in a large fashion today so on the four hour we have a downtrend bulls are still looking for a daily higher low and that may be a trade that I zoom in on tomorrow Dow after getting a new all-time high yesterday they really gave it up today so now on the next bounce we're looking for a Dow four hour lower high VIX we were watching this morning for this 1622 to possibly hold. We got over it by 21 cents and then we came back in. I would still say that's a bull break. So on the weekly, bulls are getting over that weekly 50 MA. VIX is really starting to liven up. We'll have to pay attention there. Bitcoin, like I mentioned, we had that two hour. You can actually see it on the four hour as well, head and shoulders. And let's see. Is this a faux head and shoulders and it happens to be a bull flag on a higher time frame? I talk about a faux or fake head and shoulders a lot. I started really talking about it last year with NVIDIA. So is this a daily bull flag and does this four hour head and shoulders break bear below 62,410, snooker in some bears and then reverse? I've seen it happen more often than not when we have a bull flag on the next higher time frame. So we shall see. All right. We have Ethereum with a four hour head and shoulders. And then let's look at it on the daily. 
on the daily, it's still super healthy, so we do have room for a high or low. Looking at the dollar, the dollar was able to come back in and above this 104 triple bottom on the weekly. We were able to repenetrate that range. When you reclaim a range, that says a lot about the bulls and how ravenous they are. However, we were unable to get over the weekly 50 MA and we're in a daily downtrend on the dollar. Gold took a tumble today. We're still looking for a daily high or low. I was pointing out this morning this diamond bearish reversal pattern and that played out nicely, but now we're looking for a daily high or low. We have room for it. Oil is pretty bearish today. We're in an hourly downtrend. Let's see if we can get it EQ actually 8061. We held that by three pennies, so it's an equilibrium, but we have lost hourly support and on the four hour. We're trying for inside bars here. Let's see if we can get that four hour higher low on oil. Semis, semis held up nicely. Like I showed you on the heat map, they were one of the few sectors that had a little smattering of green. They held up pretty nicely, but they've also been getting beat up. They were really beat up on Wednesday. So the fact that they bounced at this point, the question is, is it a dead cat bounce with bears covering only, or is this a bears covering plus bulls buying? We'll find bulls buying. Yes, we'll see if that is the actual case. AMD really took it in the chin. They were the weakest by far today. NVIDIA held up so nicely and got over the prior day high. Bulls have got to be pleased there. And guess where we're bouncing from? We talked about it last night. Daily 50 MA. Apple. Apple broke daily support. Apple has enough room for a weekly high or low, but this is one ugly candle this morning. What does it look like on the two-day? On the two-day, this is healthy. And remember, we have earnings. We just had Netflix earnings. And then Thursday, August 1st, we have Apple earnings. Amazon heavy. Once again, get your act together. Amazon lost the daily 50 MA. And on the weekly, we're still looking for a higher low compared to 173.87. Microsoft held up very nicely considering it had this nice pop and drop. We have a squeeze going into tomorrow. Let's look at it in the four hour. Yeah, that's a nice squeeze. That's definitely going on my watch list tomorrow. We have double daily inside bars on, excuse me, that's Tesla. Totally skipped Microsoft, my bad. I'm like, wait, Microsoft didn't look that good. We have a squeeze on Tesla. They have earnings next week, so we'll see how this resolves. So Tesla closed nicely. Back to Microsoft. Microsoft had a very nice bounce into the end of day, but they still closed red. They've made enough room for an hourly higher low tomorrow, so we'll see. They did have some relative strength, so I wasn't totally wrong there. XLF hit a new all-time high and then promptly gave it back, and we closed with an hourly bear flag, so we have consolidation occurring on XLF on the daily in a big way with a big bearish candle. Coin, like we talked about, these names were bearish. Look at it on the four hour. We had that little, it's not as clear on the, the uh, names themselves, but this had a potential two hour head and shoulders. It broke bear on the next bounce. Bears will be looking for a four hour lower high. Mara, we had that short in there. Bulls are still looking for a daily high or low on Mara, so it's not game over for bulls yet. Meta closed with a daily inside bar, had a very nice uh, bounce, was unable to get over. Oh, wait, let's look. Let me make that. I know it was an inside bar, so was it a double top? Four, seven, eh. Yeah, I would still call that an inside bar with a double top. So Meta closed nicely, still below the daily 50 MA. United Healthcare, we were watching it today for a back burner trade, meaning yesterday they got a new all time high. I was looking for first five minute oversold and it bounced almost $19. We had one of our members exclaim that she got that at 565, so proud of her. And then finally, I just wanted to check in on military, oh, military, yeah, military, M-S-O-S. -S. We are running into the daily 50 MA. We close with the daily inside bar. And depends on what, depending on what is said tonight uh, by Trump, it could have some impact on the sector. Right here, right now, I would be a bear on M-S-O-S with daily 50 and 200 MA overhead. We'll see if they say anything to spur the sector on. All right, y'all have a great evening and... You stop losses.